Israel's attack on Iran likely damaged a base run by the paramilitary Revolutionary Guard that builds ballistic missiles and launches rockets as part of its own space program, satellite images analyzed by the Associated Press on Tuesday showed. The damage at the base in Sharoud raises new questions about Israel's attack early Saturday, particularly as it took place in an area previously unacknowledged by Tehran and involved the Guard, a powerful force within Iran's theocracy that so far has remained silent about any possible damage it suffered from the assault. Iran only has identified Israeli attacks as taking place in Ilam, Khuzestan and Tehran provinces, not in rural Semnan province where the base is located. It also potentially further restrains the Guard's ability to manufacture the solid-fuel ballistic missiles it needs to stockpile as a deterrent against Israel. Tehran long has relied on that arsenal as it cannot purchase the advanced Western weapons that Israel and Tehran's Gulf Arab neighbors have armed themselves with over the years, particularly from the United States. Satellite photos earlier analyzed by the AP of two military bases near Tehran also targeted by Israel show that sites there that Iran uses in its ballistic missile manufacturing have been destroyed, further squeezing its program. Iran's mission to the United Nations did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The Israeli military declined to answer questions from the AP, but sent a previous statement acknowledging it targeted missile manufacturing facilities in the attack. The strike at Sharoud, coupled with others across the country, likely have put more pressure on Iran's theocracy, particularly as it assesses the damage to its main weapon arsenal and tries to downplay the attack. Iran on Monday warned the United States that it is complicit in Israel's attacks against the country by providing technical expertise and advanced military equipment and will bear its consequences. Iran's UN ambassador Amir Saeed Iravani delivered the warning at an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council called by his government following Israeli airstrikes against the country early Saturday. While Iran has consistently championed diplomacy to address regional challenges and foster peace, Iravani said, it reserves the right to respond at a time of its choosing to this act of aggression by Israel. Israel's UN ambassador Danny Dannon, speaking immediately afterward, called Iran the puppet master behind Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in Lebanon and pointed to its October 1 launch of at least 180 missiles into Israel. We promised that their actions would not go unanswered, he said. Iran's leaders chose to assault Israel, to destabilize the region and unleash chaos. They promised us destruction. We have answered with strength, but also with restraint. But Dannon warned that any further Iranian military action will be met with consequences that are swift and decisive. Dannon urged Iran to stop its reckless pursuit of dominance through violence and terror, saying Israel will not hesitate to protect its people and sovereignty. Au département des affaires politiques et de la consolidation de la paix et au département des opérations de décider. Le Conseil de sécurité va maintenant aborder. We condemn Israeli aggression in the strongest possible terms. 
Israel hostile action are a blatant and dangerous breach of international law and the UN Charter, particularly the principle of sovereignty and territorial integrity and prohibition on threats or the use of force against the sovereignty of states. These principles are not merely abstract ideal, they are foundational pillars upon which the international peace and stability rely. Regrettably, unwavering and unconditional support provided by the United States to Israel, coupled with its obstruction of the Security Council mandate as a permanent member has emboldened Israel to persist in its crimes and aggression in Gaza and Lebanon and now against Iran, gravely undermining regional peace and security. The United States' involvement in Israeli aggression through its provision of technical expertise and advanced military system to Israel has further instigated and emboldened Israel to conduct its aggressive attack against Iran. Therefore, the U.S. government is complicit in Israeli aggression and will bear its consequences. Furthermore, the United States has already been complicit in the ongoing war crimes and genocide, genocidal campaign targeting civilian and civilian infrastructure both in Gaza and Lebanon. The vast majority of bombs Israeli drops on Gaza and Lebanon are U.S.-made. The international community cannot and must, and must not remain silent in the face of such violation. The price of this silence is evident in Palestine and Lebanon, where Israel impunity perpetuates a vicious cycle of violence and instability across the region. We call upon the Council to condemn Israeli actions unequivocally and to hold it accountable for its systematic and recurrent violations of the international law. Iran's leaders chose to assault Israel to destabilize the region and unleash chaos. They promised us destruction. We have answered with strength. No sovereign country would tolerate hundreds of ballistic missiles aimed at its civilian population. No responsible government would allow its people to remain under constant threat. On Friday night, Israel acted as any nation would to defend its citizens, secure its borders, and neutralize an immediate threat. The contrast of the manner in which we executed our operation with Iran's missile attack could not be starker. While Iran recklessly aimed their missiles at entire civilian communities, cities, Tel Aviv, Haifa. Israel utilized the most precise munitions in the world to focus solely on military targets. Israel remains resolute. We will continue to act in defense of our people with precision, strength, and an unbreakable commitment to the safety of our citizens. The failure to hold Iran accountable is an endorsement of their tactics. This council's silence in the face of Iran's aggression sends a message to Tehran that its actions will go unchecked, that it may continue down this path without consequence. To the members of this council, we call on you to act. Enough empty words, enough statements of concern. The Iranian regime must face real consequences for its actions. We demand immediate and crippling sanctions targeting Iran's military and economic infrastructure. Designate the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist organization it is. Isolate Iran diplomatically, but most importantly, take the necessary measures to prevent a lunatic regime from attaining nuclear capabilities.